Americans of Reddit, what's a cultural faux pas outsiders would do well to avoid when visiting your state, or just your corner of the state? Please don't ask to go to Times Square on my, we're not going. Floridian here, enjoy your spring break on our beautiful beaches, but for the love of god watch your alcohol consumption when you're on the balcony of that 16th floor condo you rented. Not a year goes by where we don't hear about at least one person who died after drunkenly falling from a balcony. Pay attention to the color-coded flags that are flying at the beach and don't put a lifeguard at risk by overestimating your swimming ability. Also, no I do not visit Disney World every weekend and I tend to avoid the Orlando area in general like the plague. Just a note for flags, green is no hazards, purple means dangerous sea life, usually jellyfish. Yellow means caution required, usually rip currents, red is dangerous conditions, high surf or currents, and two red flags means the beach is closed due to unsafe conditions, usually a hurricane or similar. Americans love to crap on America. Americans don't like when other people crap on America. Yeah, it's like complaining about your family. You can do it all you want but god forbid some rando comes and shoots on them. Don't cut in line. I went to university with a lot of international students and for some freaking reason this was constantly an issue. Be aware of your surroundings and make sure you're not lollagaging around in people's way or cutting a line. A friend of mine that lived overseas for a number of years says that how we line up is not how other countries do. Americans tend to leave a gap between the person as the counter and the next person in line. Other countries are not to but. In Colorado, absolutely no skiing in jeans. Nick here. Don't suddenly stop walking in the middle of the sidewalk. That's a well-known thing. At a deli or whatever, know what you're going to order beforehand. Don't go up to the worker, look up at the menu and go, um, I'm not sure, um, let people ahead of you until you know what you want. Iowa, not sure why you come here in the first place, but people are too polite to call you out on anything, so you'll be just fine. I. Canadian, lived in Ida Grove for a few months. The islands there were the friendliest people I have ever encountered on this planet. It actually took some getting used to having drivers wave at you while walking as a gesture of friendliness. If you come from a place where folks don't talk to each other while out in public, I know asking for advice might make you anxious, or feel like you are being rude, but for the most part, people want you to have a good time in their homes, so for the love of god. Stop eating at crappy restaurants when you visit the states. I can't tell you the amount of people I've seen on Reddit that complain about the food in the states, and when you ask them where they ate, they will say oh, a Burger King by the airport or something like that. Just ask a local, tell them what kind of food you are interested in and let them point you in the right direction. I get irrationally angry when people come to my city and dog out our BBQ, only to find out that they ate at the worst touristy chain barbecue joints in the city. It is not at all uncommon for many Americans to go their whole life without visiting New York City more than once, if ever. So if you think that seeing New York equals equals seeing America then you are wrong. Almost all of America looks different than New York City. 34 years old and only been to Nick last year, on a similar topic, I've encountered, mostly European. Tourists underestimate how vast the US is. Don't think you're going to be able to do a coast to coast road trip with multiple stops with time to see the sights in a week. The majority of your time will be spent in a car driving through West Texas. Phoenix, Arizona here. Our summer heat is not just oppressive but is outright lethal. If you are crazy enough to vacation here or come for business in the summer, late April early November, drink water. I don't care if you aren't thirsty, limit outdoor activities. Also understand because of the urban heat island effect, it can and often will still be over 100 f 38 c at like 11 pm. Heat stroke is no laughing matter, people die from it here every summer. As to a cultural faux pas, please do not think Taco Bell or Del Taco are Mexican food restaurants. Some of the best Mexican food outside of Mexico is found here. Ask a local where they recommend. I'm British but did technical support for an international company. I once got a call from Arizona asking about the maximum operating temperature for one of our products because it had kinda melted. In Yellowstone, don't step off the designated walkways, or try to pet the bison. 
don't ask locals in Las Vegas if it's just one constant party. This town literally sucks 85% of the time. Most people here are trying to squeak out a living the best they can. It's just the place they live and earn a living. I've gone to the strip two times in the six years I've lived here. I love living in Vegas. Always something to do. Concerts, a show, etc. We use house seats for excess tickets. Very low cost of living and some of the best chefs on the planet here. We have a great Chinatown and awesome Mexican food. Now we have the NFL and NHL. Sure, I've seen enough bachelorette parties and drunks stumbling down the strip, but that's what makes it awesome. When I went to Hawaii, I was told they hate it when they ask tourists where they are from and they say America or the states. The mainland is much politer. Just name your state or city like you would in any other state. Kansas here. No Wizard of Oz jokes please. West Virginian here. Though I moved away a few years ago, I'm gonna stick with the state I was born and raised in. How lost are you to have ended up here? Also if you decide to go hiking, stay on the trails. There's a lot of things you don't want to accidentally stumble into out in the mountains. Not to mention that you can go for miles and not encounter a single sign of civilization. Also if you encounter a still sight, turn around and leave quickly. Don't touch it, don't explore it, don't linger around it. Moonshiners are very protective of their stuff. Atlanta, Georgia here. A message for visitors from less diverse states. Just say black. Not blacks or god forbid the blacks. Don't whisper it like it's a bad word. Don't say African American unless that is actually what you say at home. Because most people really don't and it sounds eye rollingly deliberate when they do. Finally, well wow, Atlanta has a lot of black people as an accurate statement. There's practically no way to say that doesn't come off sectarian. So keep the inevitable observation to yourself. And if you say hot Atlanta we're done talking. Just please make room to pass if you're gonna be walking slowly. People have places to be. America's big we gotta cover more ground in less time or we not getting anywhere. New York City. The worst thing that people do, and gets them in trouble, is blocking others by just being unaware of their surroundings. They walk slowly as a group in the middle of the sidewalk. They stop at the top of the subway steps for conversations. They stand in the turnstile looking for their metro cards. This one is a biggie, and it happens in all major cities. Very irritating to locals and might get you an earful. Treat sidewalks, subway stairs, turnstiles, etc. Like the highway. If you want to stop and do something, pull off to the side. If you need to go slow, stay in the far right lane and let others pass. When you visit a city on vacation, don't treat it like Disneyland full of attractions just for you and people who are there either sharing your fun or employed to help you. They are living breathing cities outside of your experience as a visitor, respect that. I live in New York City, you can be as weird as you want here and no one will bat an eye, but for frick's sake stay out of the way and don't block foot traffic. There are 8.5 million people in this city. Don't block an entire staircase to check directions while the other 400 people who got off the same subway train as you are stuck behind you and are just trying to get to work. Walk single file on staircases and escalators. Don't stop to check directions at the street corner where people are crossing or trying to. Step aside, lean against a wall, and look up the directions. If you're walking toward me staring at your phone, I'll see you coming. When you crash into me, I'll be braced for it and you won't. My daily commute is full contact and I regret nothing. Asking for fake maple syrup. You want to get beaten behind a diner? That's how. Don't try to hug a saguaro no matter how beautiful they might look. Irisen in here. Please do as it would make for a hilarious bit on the morning news. Try to avoid urinating on the Alamo. Minnesota. Don't talk about the weather. Not because we'll be insulted, but because surviving extreme weather is our main point of pride, and we will talk your ear off about how much worse we have it than you do. So unless you have genuine interest in the 1996 to 1997 winter or the Halloween blizzard, just keep it to yourself. Don't talk to strangers unless you need help with something or you're both drunk. Minnesotans are ecstatic when they get to help someone. They probably don't wanna be friends, 
Though, don't freaking litter. Don't say Minasuru to Tomokas and then laugh like you're the first genius to ever make that joke. Don't confuse us with Wisconsin. When you come to Chicago, it's natural to want to gaze up and take a million photos of our awesome skyline. But for the love of Ditka, please be aware of where you are standing on the sidewalk. Try to stay out of the way. You're in the loop, which is one of the busiest areas of one of the busiest cities in America. Don't take up a bunch of space on the sidewalk, especially if you're with a group. As long as you make sure you're not in the way, you're good. No one cares that you're a tourist. Otherwise, enjoy the sights. With respect this applies to every tourist destination ever where normal people also live. I watched a bus have to stop because someone was standing in the road taking a picture in London. If you come to Colorado, don't litter. Don't litter anywhere, please. Detroit will not kill you. It's not as dangerous as the rest of the country likes to pretend it is. Get a Coney dog and check out the theater. You'll have a good time. Or else. If you accidentally bump into somebody, you both have to say oop. If you can't think of anything to talk about, just say Green Bay Packers or the Bears still suck. Basically, watch Charlie Barron's YouTube channel for an hour and you can get around Wisconsin. Substitute all the Packers references for Vikings or Bears or Lions is appropriate and you can get around the whole upper Midwest pretty well. Don't ask a New Orleanian about Katrina. Really, just don't. If you're chatting with someone who lived it and they bring it up, for whatever reason, then respectfully converse, but please don't use their trauma as your tourist fix. Also, don't call it New Orleans or, really, really please no, N Orleans. Really, really please no, N Orleans. God thank you. My dad visited there easily 25 plus years ago and insists on calling it that most of the time. I hated it when I was 10 years old and I hate it now at 37. Don't affect a local accent when you don't have one. Not even if you can do it well. And he can't. In Boston. Don't ask me to park your car in Harvard Yard. If there was a parking spot available in Boston I would have taken it. Don't try to pet the gatters. They aren't very friendly. Former Nashvillian here. Don't ask us about cowboy boots and hats. We don't own any. Don't talk about grapes. Guns. Religion. Abortion, politics, economics, SX. You all must spend a lot of your time talking about football and the weather. If you come visit Colorado or Wyoming, leave the wildlife alone. I can't tell you how many people thinks it's normal to try to walk up to a bull elk for a photo. Also there was that poor baby bison that had to be put down because tourists took it because it looked cold. Please 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 don't stand on the left hand side of the escalator or walk slow for people across on the sidewalk. Just because you don't have anywhere to go today doesn't mean we don't. When in TX, try not to say anything bad about TX. If you do, blame it on Californians. Native Texans are indoctrinated from birth to exclaim that Texas is the best, no matter what. Nothing gets them riled up more than an outsider claiming otherwise, no matter how small. I live in NJ. Please don't act surprised that the entire state isn't a toxic waste dump because of that one time you landed in Newark airport. Our state is small but very diverse. I live in Florida. I hate that this is true, but I'm pretty sure nothing is off limits here. Nothing shocks me anymore, from tourists or locals. It's pronounced Houston, not Houston. Please stay on the Mark Trails in Yellowstone National Park. There are signs in different languages and very clear pictures but every so often someone goes off trail, sometimes damaging an ecosystem. Also, quit taking selfies with the bison. It's not a petting zoo. It's pretty common in other cultures to bring your bowl to your mouth and effectively shovel food into your mouth. Frankly, it's much more efficient. Unfortunately, it's not very common to eat this way in American culture. Keep the bowl on the table. Also, Tipping might be rare in your country, but livelihoods of waitstaff depend on tipping. Even if you don't agree with it, it's not your waiter's fault so please tip them appropriately. I know, or at least have heard, belching to show appreciation of a good meal is done in some countries. Not here, we're uptight. Also, we like our personal space. Don't crowd us, in the store, walking down the street, in an elevator. 
when visiting touristy destinations like Disney World. Do not, I repeat, do not cut through lines and block walking paths. No one cares how far you traveled or how wealthy you are. You are not more privileged than anyone else. This really applies to anywhere in the world but especially places that cost an insane amount to get into. A lot of people had to break the bank to give their family something special and to have entitled people ruin it for everyone else just makes it that much worse. I don't understand how people seem to think that it's okay ditch all common courtesy. The worst are the ones who comes with an obvious nanny and pay no attention to their own children. Raise your own dang kids or don't take them on vacation. In Midwest United States don't say negative things about deer hunting, or about school districts giving their communities deer season vacation. If you visit Alabama, especially a small town, keep the profanity to a minimum. Lots of people cuss like it's nothing, and chances are you'll hear it, but you have to know your audience, otherwise you could find yourself on the crappy end of a long stick. People will absolutely judge you and you'll be getting the stink eye from the older generation the rest of the time. Across the board, avoid the word see I know it's regularly used in much of Europe, but it's a big no no here. Don't be Australian or Scottish in Alabama, got it? Insulting our country, we know it isn't perfect, but there's no need to be a dong about it. My husband's dad does that constantly and it starts getting under your skin after the first couple of times from Colorado. Don't ski in jeans. Just don't do it. You have been visited by the romantic doggo. Comment love is magic so you never fall in the friend zone. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.